I have a 0% chance of winning. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I tried my best. Some games are just like this. That was actually an insane game where I think literally everybody hit something crazy. It happens. Actually viable, you know. I'll hold on to her. All right, definitely not a disco game. Oh shit! S request is so good. If I specifically hit, oh god, do I want to gamble on that? I kind of do. I'm gonna do it. Just hit! Disco. Uh, hang on. I could still- I could still make something happen here. Okay. All I have to do is face a kind of weak opponent. If I can face a kind of weak opponent here, I can win. This guy looks strong as f All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I got a Samira with really good items, but I don't have anything to go with it. I took Escrow Quest, which is a huge gamble. It's basically saying I gamble that I'm going to hit a good headliner. It doesn't have to be country, but it needs to be something like Bruiser or Executioner or just like a two cost. Come on, give me a good headliner. If I, if I can print three rounds out of the five in the first stage, I think I'm in a good spot. Here's an Executioner. Okay, come on, Albert. How many strong players? Uh, I probably beat like two or three people out of six. All right, come on, Albert. You can do it. All you have to do is get an easy matchup. Just face a weak player, no jutsu. He looks strong as f Uh, weaker, please! Weaker! Fuck, this guy, like, almost looked beatable. If I, like, have a headliner. I mean, this is the gamble that I chose. Don't worry, guys. Would you believe me if I told you that a country headliner was coming? I am so due. That's right. I'm so due for a country headliner. Katarina or Kench. And then I'll print escrow quest and the game is free. I am so due. Okay, honestly, this cannon is probably fine. Oh fuck. Nah, you know what? Fuck it. Nah, nah, nah. I don't. I don't take it. I'll do something even more Chad-like. First, I gamble that I'm facing a weak opponent. Okay, he looks weak. Then I pre-level and get a two-cost headliner, and the crowd goes poggers. Okay, my first print. Yes! My first print! It's beginning. Okay, and then it's loaded carousels. So all I have to do is get full Samira items here. I need glove, sword. Glove, sword, sword. Glove, sword, sword. So either give me two swords or sword, glove. Glove, glove. Samira on carousel with a bow sword?! Oh, I'm not first pick. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I'm not first picked by one HP, man. And he took it. It's not even good in his spot. Oh, it's fine. Cause I'll hit a country headliner. Okay, honestly, I just have to take this. I feel like I'm also supposed to just play this Pantheon. The Kai said bow sword. Yeah, but I mean, bow sword's not actually that good. Uh, it's just really good cause it was on a Samira. I wonder if it's ever TG Jax. I'm gonna TG Jax. Uh, no, 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 no. I think the crit is too important on Samira. Oh, 
Plus three! Plus three! Oh, wait! Oh, oh my god. She almost sniped that dummy. Wait, now I just have a random glove on my Jax. That's my bad. I'll just do IE, IE, Last Whisper. Oh, hello, Arton. Nice to see you here. But now if I get a glove, I have to- Or a sword, I have to put it on Jax for now. Whoa! Uh, I'm gonna do my punk reroll. Maybe it gives me a Samira. Is there a world? Hmm. Is there a world where I just like flexibly pivot to uh, this Akali and play like KDA? I have a Reforger too, so if I don't like Velsus, I could fix it. I mean, why don't we just see how the next few shops go? My Econ's like kind of restored because of the Escort quest. I'll probably sell this Jax here. Okay, so I'm gonna sell here. Oh, I do have super fan. Okay, I, I I think I think it's actually pivotal. Why don't I just go six and then roll like a maniac, and then see what headliner I get? Like if I hit Samira, obviously I'll play Samira. Uh, but otherwise, I could look for something with a Kali because I've got a lot of upgraded units that aren't related to country, and then I have S request. So as long as you just like keep printing three gold, who cares how much econ you have? Let's see what I get. Vex. I guess it could be like. Not the best items, but it's probably fine. All right, I'm gonna look for something crazy. I'm not sure what. Well, it's not Yoni. All right, give me something playable. I feel like I just take that. That sounds. That looks pretty good to me. I'm really not sure what I want to play here. And this looks like so far off of like the original country board. I'm holding so many options. It, as long as I keep printing, it's probably fine. Like I kind of have a pivot to Akali and KDA. Wait, I could recombob actually. That sounds amazing. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, wait, holy shit, this actually sounds amazing. Alright, wish me luck. What'd I get? What'd I get? Uh, Karthus, Alawi, RE2. Okay, uh. And I need to roll for like one headliner. Uh, sure, we'll just take this. Okay, I need to do like a pretty big reforge here. Ari items, please. Uh, I mean, not bad. I got one out of two Ari items. Okay, interesting Rekombob. I've learned that if you're gonna take Rekombob, you have to choose quickly because you need time to think about how to sort out your items. And you need to roll for a headliner. Oh, my, my dummy. This Alawi, uh, this Alawi Zach is really lucky. I don't have a use for this hurricane, unfortunately, but overall, this doesn't seem bad. I need to go seven extra on it and roll for like a real headliner. Like a, a hyper pop Lulu would be great. But yeah, I have a pretty good pivot. You just like put the hurricane on Akali. Hmm. That was one of those rare situations where um, Burikin Bob was actually kind of insane because I just like rolled really aggressively. Akali, I'm gonna die! 
with a motherfucking KDA spat. Oh, if everybody could please back off. All right, think, Albert. What do you want here? I have just a rod. Uh, don't want Gunblade. Uh. All right, I'm gonna try to like not roll too hard. Just find a decent headliner, and wow, that's perfect. Go get him, Hurricane Lulu. <laughs> no! Wait! Please, somebody, please! Thank you! Oh my god, the Lulu moved to tank, or to us uh, so that the dummy doesn't get hit anymore. Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, question, guys. Uh, I know Hurricane Lulu is not best in slot, but like, how bad could it be, right? Let's go ahead and look up the stats. Oops, sorry, that's my conversation with ChatGPT. Where's my, uh, where's my meta TFT? All right, I'll type it in. Lulu, three star. All right, first I got a position. All right, I feel like there's not much to position. All right, let's take a look. All right, Lulu, three star, items, look up hurricane. All right, apparently there's no data for it because apparently no one, no one has built this item on this unit. All right, I'm gonna get a first with Hurricane Lulu, and I'm gonna set the average place into one. What do you guys say? Oh, actually, you know what a psycho would do? But like a sexy psycho? A sexy psycho would sell this Lulu and roll. Well, go eight and roll. I'm down. You know what I do need? I, I can think of Gragas and Echo are both really good here. Gragas first Spellweaver Bruiser. All right, all I ask is for, listen, I'm not a picky guy. Just give me exactly a bow and a belt. That's it. Or a tier and a tier. That's it. I'm literally just not a picky guy. Oh, bow? Okay. And a bow. Bow and a bow? All right, it's fine. Just give me Katie Akali and I forgive you. I feel like this is good. There's no way I level up and lose, right? Fuck. It might be like a red buff diff, but like, I don't I don't want to slam red buff on Ari, it's pretty bad. Oh, it's actually a red buff diff though. Oh, well, it's more like a no Nashers diff, but I can't really force the Nashers. Oh no. Big grab bag! Guys, I can fix it all! When you're spell weavers? No. It's actually a big grab bag to be able to fix my items here. Nashers. Wait, before I do that, uh, let me reforge one component. Probably chain. No, no, it's probably belts. Nashers, Ari. And then is this spark now? I feel like it's gotta be spark. This actually looks really good now. I think I can level up off this, like go nine. I think I'm going nine. This isn't the perfect board, but for like a Recon Bob, I think it's pretty solid. We're taking advantage of our of our Alawi and the Ari. The Reforger really helped us up. Wait, my dummy! How did- how did my dummy die? What, what happened? Somebody exploded all over my dummy. Zero combat augments is rough. Yeah, but I'm going nine, so... Like, I, I don't think I'm getting first. I will always lose to somebody who forces something and hits. But like, I think it's a good flex play for a top four. Would you sell the Mord for Econ? 
<laughs> what do you mean sell them word for econ? I'm gonna print. <laughs> Ari, you are in charge of protecting the dummy. With you standing in front of it, there's no way the dummy dies. Grab bag is basically a combat augment. I, uh, you know, I had this conversation with all my friends earlier about combat augments. I, uh, some people do not refer, wait, Karthus! Okay, he didn't snipe. Some people refer to uh, combat augments, as, or like, some people refer to item augments as not combat augments. Because it's like, they believe that a combat augment is something that makes you go like above and beyond the regular power level of a three item carry. It's like, your three star three item Yone cannot get any stronger if you have big grab bag. Besides, like, getting good items. Oh, wait, I gotta think about my item really quick. Uh, it's definitely just a tank item. But yeah, uh, like, this three item Ari will never get any stronger, because I don't have, like, a combat augment. You know, like, tons of stats, or, uh, long distance spout. Those augments allow you to go, like, above and beyond the regular power level of a three item Ari. So, like, for that reason, it's kind of a big deal. But, I mean, it's probably fine. I'll go nine, and then I will eventually die, but I should be able to, like, hold on for quite a while. Oh, there's a Lux 3. Wait. Oh, fuck. Put the dummy here. You will not die to the Lux 3. Wait. Uh, did I just kill my Lulu? Lulu! Oh my god, she tried to dodge it too. Wait, this Lux 3 is too strong. Oh my god. Oh wait, hang on. Kill one more. Kill, kill the bard. Kill the bard. Kill the bard. Wait, this guy like is so strong. Lux 3. Zanya's Zax. Zax. Zanya's Zax. Zanya's Jax. Wait. You know, I actually saw a Reddit post today about uh, Bruiser Lux, where you go level 7, Lux 3, and then 4 Bruisers. And then you sometimes play Zed, sometimes you don't, depending on what headliner you hit. I I'm probably fine. I'm probably fine. I can't believe I haven't seen an Echo. Oh, you're right. It's been so long, I just forgot about him. But yeah, Echo over Lulu, and then I get one free slot. Although I feel like this Lulu takes up the free slot pretty well. I don't know what my endgame's gonna be. You probably sell the Zac and then play something else. You know what I could go for? Like, no combat augments, you could still win if you get RE3. I could try for it. I mean, like, what else are you gonna really do here, right? What about Gragas Sona? I'd be done for that. I could also maybe do uh, Jin. I feel like Jin is just a, a powerful flex unit. All right, I sack one and then I sell Zac and I roll. Maybe hit a random five cross headliner. Okay, wait, this guy has Ari. I need him to perish. Oh, this guy also has Ari. If you could if you could kindly perish for me, that'd be wonderful. Um What's the last item? GG. Oh, I don't have any anti-heal actually. Yeah, let's do uh, Shojin Morello's here. Should be a pretty good flex item here. Morello's is actually just like one of the best items in the game right now. I, I randomly was looking at the stats last night. And I was like, wait, Morello's has like insane stats on every AP carry. Which kind of makes sense because like they buff Morello's a lot. Oh, did I win? He sniped my dummy! Bro! Okay, I guess I wasn't going to win anyway. Imagine I win and the Karthus is just like, fuck you, ult the dummy. Alright, I gotta level up. Alright, Zach, 07, you've served us really well. Uh, I need to find a 5 cost. This is pretty good. Uh, fuck, it's... It's pretty good. Um... Just throw it all on Akali, I'll fix it later. Uh, hang on. I, I need an Echo really badly. Echo fixes all my problems. Synergy was. Well, my Akali actually sniped the Karthus. 
But yeah, I need to sell this to Kali soon. She's not that great. I probably sell the Kali next round, actually. I really need one Echo. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's a 2% chance each roll of hitting a five cost headliner. Now watch as I, Albert Boxbox Zhang, hit the 2% sense. I need one true damage unit. Uh, I'm gonna just throw everything on Kiana. Or maybe like that. Oh, and I print. Dude, tank Kiana. Hello, only vexed. Thanks for the 16 months. It's time for Tankiana. All right, last item for Kiana. Uh, what do I desire? I don't know. Hodge, Guardbreaker, Titans. Yeah, all of them work well. Oh! Uh, probably QSS then. I, I think QSS is good. It, it guarantees her a lot of casts. Tank Kiana. One time I had a Kiana one with three tank items and she actually like won me the game. All right, so I'm on three Bruiser. I uh, this is good enough? I think instead of Zed, I'm supposed to play another true damage unit. But I don't know who that would be, because... Oh, it, it could be just a Kali. It could just be a Kali. Uh, I, I was, like, thinking a Kali would get counted as a KDA unit, but I think when it's a tie, you can do either one. Oh, this, this Kiana is actually just so perfect. Oh, print. That can go on Echo. Uh, remember when I said I need this guy to die so I can hit RE3? I don't think it's happening. I think if I want to secure, like, a third, I should just roll a little bit here. Look for one true damage unit. One true damage unit. Ahem, <clears throat> one true damage unit. Well, I did not hit one tree damage unit. I I'll hold the Sona. Although I feel like this Lulu, am I crazy? I, th I feel like this Lulu is better. Oh, and Asher's. I feel like Lulu 2 is better than Sono 1 here. Unless I get like specifically a Gwinsus. Oh wait, my Lulu did so much damage actually. I'm pretty sure she's better. With these items, I'm pretty sure she's better. All right, I'm gonna roll until I hit Z2 or a true damage unit. I feel like Akali would actually be a pretty big diff. Uh, something doesn't feel right about that. I'm not making it to 10, right? I'll troll for the Akali instead. The reason why I'm not rolling a zero here is because I have this like naive dream of uh, waiting for the Ari players to die. One of them just died. If I wait for the other one to die, a Hail Mary would be to sell my Kiana for RE3. But also like I'm kind of rolling because 
I still want to hit like a Lowy too, and a Kali too. I think I can beat this guy. Roll one more time. Oh, uh, I'm supposed to shoulder zero now. Definitely shoulder zero now. Okay, now that I'm at pair, I should just keep rolling and try to get like second or something. I I, I kind of want to wait for him to die, but he's at 17 health. There's a chance that I like throw the game if I uh if I don't roll. It's like, oh, you have a three out of Malawi one. Like you're level nine. Are you kidding me? You're not rolling. Oh no! Oh no! One more ult. Oh wow! What? Oh. Okay. That guy was a little strong. You're not even supposed to buy this, because once you do, you can't hit a headliner. I'm just gonna roll for the two star. Alright. I'm just gonna play for the I'm playing for the second. Goodbye, dreams of an RE3. RE3 would only happen if this guy died and then I sold my Kiana and rolled a shit ton of gold. Frontline you're a dummy. No, I'm uh I'm putting it over here to to protect Lulu. Okay, my Echo has two even trials. Let's go. Wait, I printed two items. It's a forced. No, I, I think this guy's so strong. He's really powerful and he's still 50 gold. I, I tried to play Olaf 3 earlier and I failed. Oh, it's because he hit too big to fail. Hear my song and dance in the moonlight. Roll one time. Roll one time. Dang it. No upgrades. I think a call upgrade is kind of a big deal here. I'm pretty sure I'm not facing him. I, I think I'm facing a ghost. Oh, no, it is the real him. Oh god, this pentacle Sona. But yeah, when I, when I played Olaf, I failed to get a backline, so I got owned. But this guy has a backline and a frontline. It's intimidating. Hello, socks. Thanks for the 118 months. My god. Oh, hang on. Look at Kiana. Dang it. Oh, it's, it's like kind of close. I mean, surely now I... Surely I get to face the ghosts now, right? Sheesh. Surely I get to face the ghost now. Yes, it's the ghost. It's the ghost. Okay. Okay, top two. All right, well, we already know this guy's gonna win the game. So what do you guys say? I try for a ridiculous, really long shot. Ridiculously long shot. RE3 from this spot. No, what do you mean no? I'm gonna die no matter what. I might as well try. I've got zero combat augments, a guy who's level 10 with like best in slot augment everything. I'm pretty sure even if I hit RE3, it's gonna be a close fight. All right, let's do it. Can I hit six Ares in 40 gold? Why didn't you go for count of three? I mean, you already know that's not happening. Can't buy this. You have to hit the headliner first. Oh, wow. You don't have to be afraid of me. I like, don't have any unit slots. I oh my god! I I, I was able to keep five spell weaver in my Alawi too. Uh, is it actually enough? It might not be. Like I don't have any combat augments. 
If I survive this round, I'm probably good though, because I can fill, fill up my board. <gasps> oh my god! No, no, no! It's so close! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck! I was actually, like, for a moment, I was the best. I mean, like, we, we, we literally said it earlier. It's like, even if you hit, you're probably not going to win just because uh, I have zero combat augments and he has an insanely cut board. I had to sell off, like, a good chunk of my board. It was so close. If I had to sell off slightly less, I think I could have done it. I mean, as we saw, we were one bolt away from winning. But also, to be fair, that was incredibly lucky to even have hit that at all. So, like, I shouldn't complain at all.